Okay, y'all, so I had just got done with the reading, and I was about to just wrap it up for the evening because my phone is about to die, and I was clearing this deck that I just used in that last reading, and when I was shuffling the cards, I noticed that there was a card that was going in the opposite direction, and look what was going in the opposite direction, y'all. Seven of Swords. So we're going to leave that Seven of Swords out, but I do feel like whoever this, ooh, spiritual confirmation. Whoever this is that's in this plot and scheme and deceitful energy, okay, their time is running out, okay? It, it just is. So let's see real quick. Hopefully my phone won't die before I complete the reading, but let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this Seven of Swords. Holy Spirit, why was this card in the wrong direction? In the deck, what do you want us to know about this Seven of Swords energy, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What do you want us to know? Let's do one more good shuffle, and then we're going to hop right into it. I haven't used these in a while, so they should be okay. Mm, I'm trying to tell you, whoever this is, they timed and ran out. They probably got about 10% battery life left for all of the maliciousness and deceit. In deception I'm picking up on off this seven of swords like that card was like you gonna see me okay so Holy Spirit what do we need to know about it let's go the chariot this could be a cancer sign here okay but whoever this person is they have they have been coming with a lot of aggression when it comes to this seven of swords energy They've been hoping to have progress with these Seven of Swords actions that they've been taking. Justice, I'm trying to tell you. They've been in this Seven of Swords energy hoping to have justice against, to get justice. Some type of equality. They feel like. Someone needed to be brought down a peg or two, two of wands. But the temperance is in reverse in the deck. They went to the extreme. They may have been overindulging. The temperance in reverse can talk about addictions. Okay, this person may have overindulged in the seven of swords to the point that we got the Ace of Wands. This person overindulged in the Seven of Swords behavior because they wanted to have a new start with an Emperor here. They wanted to be able to continue to move forward in life with an Emperor. Their desire for this person was so strong that they overindulged in, I'm hearing spell work, Clarify, Holy Spirit, to ensure that they would be able to have this life with this divine masculine energy here. The devil then came out here now. This person, like I said, overindulged in some karmic behavior, some addictive behavior, to ensure that they would have a victory with this emperor here. But they did too much. Overindulgence. Did too much. So what's happening now, Holy Spirit? Seven of Swords is back out here now. But look, it had flew like it was spinning, actually. I don't know if y'all could see how the car was spinning. But it had stopped like this when it came out. Okay? So the Seven of Swords... We know what it is, upright, betrayal, deception, dishonesty, getting away with something. But as you can see, or you need to run it back a few seconds, it was turning upside down. Upside down means coming clean, confession, regret, revealed, malicious, and getting caught. This woman about to get caught. I don't know what the fuck she was doing out here, but we got the seven of swords out here twice, and we ain't five minutes into the reading. So whatever she was doing, it was bad. 
We got the two of pentacles. And I'm telling you, spell work is involved. This woman was trying to juggle this emperor's future. She was trying to balance the, the future outcome of this emperor in her favor. The two of pentacles is falling right up under justice. The lovers. Okay, the Holy Spirit telling on somebody tonight, child. The Holy Spirit is then passed judgment on this chariot energy for everything that she did. Because judgment is falling right up under this temperance in reverse. For everything that she did, all of this karmic devilish energy that she participated in to make this man be with her, to have a success with this man. And I'm talking about whatever she done did, it's done played out. She had 10% battery life. Page of Swords, y'all seeing that, right? It says, lack of direction, delays, creating conflict, bad news, okay? That's what's happening with this woman. What else, Holy Spirit? Well, stop playing with people. Stop trying to change people's future. Stop forcing people to give to you so that you can receive from them. Stop using sex magic. Stop using other forms of manipulation with this knight of swords to get what you want. And maybe you wouldn't be in this situation right now. Because whoever I'm talking about, this cherry energy, she done did all of that. Everything I just named off, she done did all of that. Okay? And she has gotten caught up for it. What's going to be the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? Because my phone going about to die soon. Nine of Wands. I'm hearing a five to seven period of penance. This woman has a long road ahead of her. She got a long road to hoe. Okay. She's weary. She's gearing up for the worst. I feel like this is going to be a true test of her faith. She going to really be calling on God for what I'm picking up that she's about to have to go through as a result of all of this treachery and deceit that she put out in the universe to be with this man. Six of Cups. To have a reconnection of some kind with this emperor and to get him to invest in her. This woman was diligent, honey, with this Eight of um, Pentacles. And she had a routine with that spell work. We got the Knight of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles can talk about a plan. Hard work. Achieving something. Slow and steady wins the race. And she was in this energy behind the scenes with this Hierophant. It was, it was hidden from this masculine that this chariot energy was using sacred knowledge to make a man be with her okay see that's also the problem with this clarify holy spirit because of what she was pulling on to have this ten of pentacles with this masculine to have this connection this financial security even even Money got something to do with this here. But everything she did was to have long-term success with this man. So why do we need to know this? Because this must be somebody emperor right here. That's what I just heard as soon as I asked that. Clarify, Holy Spirit, why are we talking about this? This somebody emperor. That's then Nine of Cups. He's single now, child. With the tower. Okay. He coming out here as a nine of cups now. I feel like this man is grateful. He It's a wish come true that he's finally been able to break away from this cherry energy. And it was a sudden change. Whatever's happening, I feel like this is real time. Some type of disaster or chaos just occurred for this cherry energy. It was unexpected. She did not expect for whatever to happen. We have the hierophant. I feel like this woman was warned to follow the rules. 
She received wise counsel to stop doing what she was doing, but she continued to resist the powers that be, okay, which is the most high. She, I'm, I'm really picking up, like, she continued to challenge any and everything that stood in the way of her having this connection, but this man didn't want to have this connection. King of Pentacles out here. I'm telling you, she Ace of Pent. I, it's something about money here, child. The fool. He didn't left that shit behind, honey. I look. This woman. Look. <laughs> Whoever this is, I do not know what it was that she picked up off this emperor, but baby, she knew this man was destined to be abundant. That he was always going to have a stable, solid foundation. Like, no matter how many times he fall, he always going to rise again. Okay? She knew that this man could provide her with comfort and stability. She knew this man was a divine being. And she lost her damn mind trying to keep this one tied to her, honey. I don't know who this for. But I do feel like this is one of y'all divine masculine. Holy Spirit, is this... The divine masculine of someone in my collective, please and thank you, Holy Spirit, for clarity here. Let's see. Look what came out here, child. This is somebody divine masculine right here. Whoever this karmic energy, this cherry energy is that he was dealing with, something unexpected occurred, and this woman has been exposed. Okay, she's no longer able to be in this treacherous, deceitful behavior. And she, I'm telling you, I heard a long road of, ahead of her. This woman got some type of five to seven year period of reckoning, of karma, of suffering for everything that she was meddling in spiritually to keep this man tied to her. So that means that if she was using spiritual manipulation to keep him with her, she most definitely was using spiritual manipulation to keep you away from him. Okay? Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's also why this is happening. Queen of Cups. Because she knew how much this man loved you. Mm -mm. He knew, she knew how much of a spiritual comfort you were to this man. What's going to happen between this emperor and this king of wands, emperor energy, and this queen of cups, Holy Spirit? What's going to be the outcome here? Queen of pentacles. She wanted him to be her king of pentacles, but he wants you to be his queen of pentacles, honey. 